Uh, I like it a lot. It's not a lot to it. You can play fast, communicate good. Like it's it's a real good scheme. Like it, it ain't a lot. It ain't like real difficult at all. How similar is it to last year? Somewhat. We got some of the same plays, but like we got a lot of like you know their new plays and terminology. But like it's it's pretty much the same. It's only so much you could do in defenses. Yeah, it looks like it's clicking for you guys pretty well right now. Do you feel the same way? Yeah. You know, a lot of these guys, we've been playing with each other for, you know, a few years now, a couple of years. So everything been working out well. You've, what it, you've won. You've won a ring. you played at the highest level. How much does a lead help for a defense to be able to create takeaways and turnovers if your offense is kind of putting you in that position consistently? Uh, I mean, it helps a lot. You know, the more you can get the ball back, the more chances the offense get to score. So... But when they're leading, does that help you be more aggressive and take more chances? Because when you're trailing, it seems like these yeah, teams go into you, a four-minute offense and they run the heck out of the ball. Yeah, you know, when we up, of course, create opportunities for us. Teams like to throw the ball a lot more instead of running. So, like, it helps a lot. What have you seen from Michael O.J. Moody this offseason? Uh, making plays. Like, he come out ready to work each day. He pay attention in meetings, ask questions. And he go out there and make plays, like, every day. Well, what's been your early impression of Damari Mathis? You saw him make a couple of plays today, too, the rookie out of Pittsburgh. Uh, I like him a lot. Like, he's real athletic. He could run. He's willing to learn. Like, he, he good. Real good player. What's the ceiling for this defense? Uh, as high as we want it to be, you know. Each day we all come out ready to work. Everyone got a positive attitude. We got a lot of vets, older guys, younger guys. It's like a great, you know, great mixture. We see Russ, he was in Monaco, he's been in New York, he was at Dartmouth doing a commencement address. Football never suffers, though. Do you ever wonder how he does it? Does he, like, ever sleep? Do you ever wonder? To Russ, nah, he be, he be doing a lot. I don't know. He got a lot going on. <laughs> does it, but when he comes out here, he's, like, the most prepared guy. Is that just crazy to you? That Yeah, he, nah, he, he put the time in. Like, you probably see him doing this and that, but he put the time in, in the building. He be here early, be leaving late. He grabbed guys out of the locker room to watch extra film, go over practice before like we actually got meetings. So he do a lot. You spent a lot of time on the more for the line of scrimmage about the way that the wide zone, outside zone, and make things look the same on the pass. Does that matter on the perimeter? Like how the wide receivers, the way that they're playing, is it different than the way they played the past year? Uh yeah, you know, with this offense, a lot of the stuff looks the same, so like it could, you have to be real disciplined with your eyes going up against this type of offense. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald.